Hello and welcome to our seventh session. And in this session, we are going to deal with audio. So we have our application running. So when we hold our A, B, C flashcards, the model is popping out, it is getting animated, but it will be very interesting if we have some sounds associated with it. For example, for aeroplane, you should have an aeroplane sound, for ball, the pitching sound, and for car, the car sound. So in this session, we are going to add this audio. And actually, 3JS library is built with very beautiful audio libraries. It has a huge audio library. You can go to documentation and check it. And one of the library item that we use is the audio loader. Now, to make this audio work, what I have done is, just like you have GLTF loader, you also have an audio loader. Now, we can call this audio loader and we can create this loader function. But to make it easier, what we have done is, in your folder, say for example, in your lips folder, Already you have been provided with this loader.js file. If you right click it and open it in your notepad, now you can see here in this loader.js, we have already used this load gltf in our previous session. Now, the second component that is written here is load audio. So now, because we have to load three audios, instead of creating this loader every time for every object, what we have done is we have declared one constant loader and we have called this three audio loader. And for this, the variable parameter we are going to add is the path. And then we are going to use the same kind of code as it is in the load gltf. You have loader load path and in buffer. So here we had added gltf, see. But here the variable we are using is buffer, okay, and resolve buffer. This loader, we have to now call it in our main file. So I will come back to main.js file and here the very first thing I need is, in the second line we had imported this load.gltf in our previous session. So I will add comma and before I import anything, I have to now import this, okay, it has selected the, I will select only this load audio. I will copy this, come to main.js and I will paste it. So we are now importing two items, load gltf and load audio. After we added this animation, I will come down here and I am going to first call for a constant and the constant I am going to call is the audio clip. And for this, I am going to call this as aeroplane a clip. A clip means audio clip. I am going to name this as airplane a clip and this will be equal to I will add the await function and I am going to call this load audio function. So similar to this where we used await load gltf we are using load audio and in open close bracket I will end it with semicolon and inside this should be enclosed in inverted comma and inside this I will add period forward slash then I will go into sound folder and inside that I will call this airplane.mp3 file. So, okay. So, we have loaded our audio clip. We should also add a listener. The listener is like a speaker. We are adding a speaker to our application and this speaker or this listener, he can be called as, now I will call this as constant air listener. I will call this as air listener and for this air listener, I am going to call a new three property which is called as audio listener and in open close bracket, I am now going to actually close this with semicolon. So now, I have instantiated this three audio listener using this air listener and after this, I am now going to next create my actual audio file to play and I am going to call this as constant airplane clip. I will call it as airplane, uh, a clip I have already used it. I will call it as airplane audio. I will call this as airplane audio and it will be equal to new three component and this now we are going to call 
what is called as the positional audio, not the regular audio. What is this positional audio is, if you go to the 3JS website, you can study it in detail. Now, in our model, we can attach this audio to our anchor group and as the anchor is going to move, for example, if you take your image and if you move it front and back or left and right, as the object is moving, audio is also going to move means we are attaching the speaker to a movable object. So that's why it is called as positional audio. This is also called as spatial audio. We'll close this open close bracket and I will end it with semicolon. And here in the positional audio, now I am going to call this ear listener. Okay. See, ear listener is the name I have given for this aeroplane listener. Okay. Now, after this, finally, this air listener has to be added to my anchor. And to add it to the anchor, if you scroll down, see here in constant aeroplane anchor, we had added this anchor and we had added this aeroplane scene to this anchor. Now, I will call the same airplane anchor. And for this group, I am now going to add in open close bracket. Now here, I am now going to add the audio. Which audio? The audio that I have declared here in line 26. This airplane audio, I will copy it and I will add it inside this. I also have to add a listener. See, we have already added one listener here air listener and we had declared it as air listener and we have put it for audio. And the second effect is before adding this airplane group at this uh, audio here that is in line number 45, I will come to next line and I am going to call camera and this camera we have already declared it where in this constant renderer scene camera is coming from mind AR3. And I am going to call this camera and for this camera also, I am going to add this air listener. So this air listener that you have it, I am going to add it even to the camera. So when you move your object back, the sound is going to reduce. When I move my object or the image front, it is going to increase. So for this, I have added it. I will add a parameter to this audio that is the audio air plane which is the audio we have declared audio for this aeroplane audio I am going to add a parameter which is called a set reference ref distance so so r is capital d is capital and in open close bracket I will end it at semicolon this means that the audio should fade out after a particular distance. I have to set this distance. This we do it by trial and error. And currently here I will set it to 100. So if you want to know about it, type airplane uh, set reference distance 3JS on Google and you can see the details. There will be a detailed explanation of what this function is going to do. Okay. So now the next thing here is after this, I am next going to call this airplane audio again and this time I am going to set its buffer and in open close bracket and semicolon here I have going to call this airplane a clip that is this clip that I have loaded here I will copy it and come over here in set buffer I am going to paste this so that this audio has to be streamed. So for that, I am going to set this buffer and then finally, I will set this airplane audio. I will call another property called set loop and in semicolon and inside this loop, I am going to type value true so that the looping is going to happen. And one last thing I want here is this audio has to play only when the target is detected, not before that. So for that, I will move to next line here 
and I am going to call this anchor that is uh, uh, the airplane anchor that we have declared here. See, you have this airplane anchor here. I am going to call this aeroplane anchor which gets activated when you hold the aeroplane image. For this aeroplane anchor on target found. So, when this target is found, now what should happen is I am going to make it equal to a function equals greater than and in open close flower bracket inside this now I want this audio to play. Which audio? Airplane audio to play and I will end it with open close brackets and semicolon. Okay. And then the same code here, I will copy it. If required, I will leave a gap here. I will copy it and I will paste it. And this time on target last, I want this aeroplane audio to pass. I will add some comment for you to understand. So here in the line below here, the very first thing we are go doing is calling airplane clip and we are loading the audio from our hard disk. The next step we did here was we instantiated the listener component using air listener variable. Okay. And then added a speaker positional audio. We did not add it, we instantiated it. We instantiated this positional audio as airplane audio. Then we came down and after our anchor was declared and it was added, I will add comment, added listener to the camera. We set the referral distance from which the audio should fade out. Okay, we had we actually then set the buffer of audio to stream. We set the audio to loop. Finally, we added the audio to the anchor of aeroplane, which will be activated on seeing the airplane image. Make airplane audio play only when the target of airplane image is detected. Okay. And next here, what would we do? Make airplane audio pass when the target image is lost in the camera. So, this completes our coding part. I will go to file and now I will save it. Next, let us test this now. I will now launch my simple uh, web server and I will see that this web server is focused to my AR flashcards folder. Then I will save the changes. And now I will launch my browser and in my browser I will come to period 8080. So I will just click on it. There is some error. So I will right click and choose inspect. I will come to console window. It is saying that syntax error missing after augment list. Okay, if you come to line number 24 here, I have forgotten to add a bracket here at the end. Okay, this is the first correction. I will go to file, save it and now I will again refresh it. Okay, it is now running. There are no errors. This is fine. I will click on allow and now it is going to run. So, when I hold the aeroplane image here, can you hear the sound? See, the sound is playing. See, as I bring closer, the sound becomes See the volume you can see as it moves back, see the sound fades away and when I move it fast, the sound increase and when I move it to right, left, 
if you are wearing a headphone and if you hear it the sound keeps oscillating okay this is now working fine so now i have to implement the same logic to all the other sounds so for this i will come back here and first let us select this uh, here aeroplane clip i will select this entire line there are three lines with comment it is six line i will copy it and now i will come below the ball mixer and i am going to paste it now only thing is i will remove of this comp comments so i will delete off then only thing is here instead of aeroplane clip i am going to call this ball clip and here it is going to load not aeroplane mp3 it is going to load ball mp3 from my hard disk then this will be called as the bar listener i will change it to bar listener and audio listener and then this will be bar audio ball audio okay so i will change this to ball listener equal to new 3 audio listener and then i will change this to ball audio and here the audio it is going to listen to will be ball listener so i have replaced this and after this after making the changes in these three lines i will scroll down here and here again from here 1 2 3 4 5 lines we have not only five along with this target sound we i select this entire block of code i will right click and copy it and i will come below this ball group add and after this ball group add ball scene i am going to paste this and only even in this case i will remove off the comment i will clear all the comments be careful when you are clearing don't delete any of the other part so i am just removing it to make the code look simple so i have removed all the comments okay done now in this case now i will add a gap here uh, and camera add instead of air listener this will be ball listener and then for aeroplane set reference instead of aeroplane audio this will be ball audio and then ball audio i am going to set buffer and this will be equal to ball a clip okay so ball a clip and then i am going to change this to loop of ball audio to true and then i am going to call now the ball anchor and for the ball anchor group i am going to add the ball audio and here also instead of aeroplane anchor this will be ball anchor on target for sound it is going to play ball audio and similarly when ball anchor on target is last then it is going to pass the ball audio see i will add ball audio okay so now i will just check that all the code has been correctly added okay everything is fine now i will go to file save this and now i will refresh this and now if i hold a you are hearing the aeroplane sound now i will hold ball see you have the pitching sound when i move it close it is louder now it is the volume has decreased okay so similarly now i will implement this for the final part that is the car so again here i will i will select these three lines that we added here i will copy this here only three lines are added and after this car mixer i am going to press space twice and then here I will make this as car air clip and now this is going to load car mp3 and this will be car listener and this is new 3 audio listener and this will be car audio and I am going to make it listen to car listener and then 
after making this change from camera act to this entire code I will copy it and I will come below this add scene I will press and enter and I will paste it and now here in camera I am going to add the call listener first and then I am going to call this call audio and I will set it reference distance to 100 and then I am going to call this car audio sorry this is not call this is car audio and I will set its buffer to car a clip and then I will set the car audio set loop I am going to set it to true then for car anchor now I am going to add this car audio ok I will add the car audio and then for this car anchor found target found I want the car audio to play and when the car anchor target is last I want the car audio to pass ok so I have replaced everything with car and then I will go to file and I will save it now I will refresh it and after I refresh it call listener ok somewhere I have written as call listener ok so here in camera add instead of car listener I have accidentally made it call listener so I will save it now I will refresh it and check ok there are no errors ok I will first hold the A see the aeroplane is working fine then I will hold the ball you are hearing the ball sound and then I will hold it on this so you can hear the car sound so when I come close so it is louder and when I go back the volume decreases ok so I will hold all three and check see you are getting all the three audio now see all the three audio is playing out so now in this session we have successfully added audio and we have also added the various control and now the other last section that I want to discuss about is using the user interaction that is when the user in the mobile phone taps on this model something should happen this we are going to do it in our next session thank you